everybody, welcome to Nine Liner Tattoo. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope everybody's doing good. Um, this one's going to have some tattooing in it, as you would expect. I'm not entirely sure what's going to be in this one yet, what tattoos I'm going to have a rummage through and see what's what. But I hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, um, stay tuned at the end for the check this out as well. But hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you soon. Peace. Bye. Generally, you don't mind getting tattooed, it doesn't hurt you enough too bad. I hope not, I've got 16 of them, so. <laughs> you should be alright. <laughs> well, I think we're alright. We're alright in that apartment. The worst one was the one on the bottom of my back. Oh, yeah. But he was a butcher. The so tramp was... stamp! Oh. <laughs> that was my divorce tattoo. Oh, was, was it? It was horrible. Right, buddy, you ready? Yeah, right then. What's your parrot's name? Harvey. 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 Harvey the parrot. Okay, here we go. Yeah, right. How's that? Good.
is out. So, um, this one's going to be about a band that Sarah and I seen live, seen live a few times. Um, bigger venues, smaller venues, really small venues. Um, but uh, it's a band that they released their first album in I think 2002. Um, instant fan. Well, Zara and I were both fans before the album came out. They released a couple singles. Um, went to see them. Now, we've both seen big shows like, you know, Kiss and Slipknot and Ramstein and, you know, the big, big shows. We've seen the, the Nine Inch Nails and, you know, big, big shows. And we've also seen the little, sort of, even better, in my opinion, shows like, you know, early Cancer Bats and Agnostic Front and, you know, all the, the early, sort of, even when bands are starting out and they're not hardcore or punk rock or whatever, the little shows can sometimes be great. Um, we went to see this band at the Barrowlands, and I'd say 2002, um, 2002, 2000, yeah, it would have been 2002, um, and the album was doing really well, they'd won awards for it, um, Best new, Newcomer in Kerrang! and all this sort of stuff, I think it was, and um, their stage set consisted of a sheet, badly hung, um, and a graphic, projected from a projector or a printer or whatever of just a star um, with an HR inside it which uh, it's not bad brains before you get excited um, but it's their logo sort of thing and they've kept that logo but what basically what I'm saying is even when they were fresh on the scene trying to make an trying to make a fresh on everybody's his, his ears and whatnot they were at the, the, like starting off they were winning awards their album was getting critical success they played the Barrowlands and they still just hung a fucking sheet up and it was it was amazing. But the album I suggest you check out is Ideas Above Our Stations by a band called Hundred Reasons. Um, despite what people say, it's not a or a or one hundred reasons. It's just hundred reasons. Um, now, there's the logo that I was talking about that was hanging on the sheet. Uh, this album is absolutely outstanding and I tell you one of the reasons the gig stands out so much is because it's still to this day and I mean realistically between that gig and very, this very day there must be 150 at least maybe even uh, actually maybe more I'd say maybe 200 shows minimum between that show in 2002 and this and, and today and this that show at the Barrowlands was still one of if not the best show I've seen it just it was so much fun um, now I'm not the happiest of people but that was a happy fun show you know um, but yeah people might know his wicked big hair but um, what they don't know is how good that band really are and I mean they're not together anymore um, Sarah and I had tickets to go and see them as obviously they're called Hundred Reasons but the singer and I believe the guitar player, one of the guitar players toured last year and the year before and they might still do it as Undead Raisins um, which is, they play Hundred Reasons songs but just acoustically I think uh, we didn't actually make it we, either Sarah or I took very no well I can't remember quite why but we didn't make it um, but if you get a chance to go and see a band called Undead Raisins and you watch this video and you like Hundred Reasons, once you check them out, then it's them, so go and see them. Uh, they might come back, you never know, I don't, I don't think so. I think that they've had a comeback, not a comeback, but they reformed and done some shows, but I don't think they'll, they'll be back as such. But uh, anyway, I suggest you check out Hundred Reasons. Hello? Oh, yeah. Sometimes when it's windy, I don't know if I've explained this before, but my door at the front of the shop um, sometimes when it's really windy it moves a little bit and I think someone's came in anyway so I suggest you check out 100 Reasons Ideas Above Our Stations some standout so I mean every song on this album's really 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 fucking good but the ones that you might know um, I'll Find You uh, If I Could Falter Oratorio um, my favourite song's Drowning um, but Silver, I think they released a video for Silver. They did release, um, I want to say, another four or five records as well. Um, and a live DVD, which I've got, uh, which is really good. But, yeah, really, really good band. Really, really good band. So I suggest that you check out Ideas Above Our Station by 100, 100 Reasons. Alright? Peace. Bye.